What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you all of the challenges for the Water Chakra section of Fortnite Avatar. By the end of this, you should know how to complete absolutely everything in this list to progress further on in your Avatar quests. If you're looking for something in particular, you may find it linked down below in a separate video, or of course, jump to that timestamp if you need help. First of all, visiting an elemental shrine. You'll find these marked all over the map, and if you head across to the quest section of the menu, followed by the Avatar Pass, you'll find all of them marked on the map, simply navigate across to one of them and you'll have this completed. Then deal damage to opponents with waterbending. You'll need to find a waterbending scroll in order to use waterbending, but this is incredibly simple and hopefully easy to do. We'll be getting to that just now. Land on water from the bus, also super easy. Unfortunately, you can only do one of these per game, so I'd recommend doing this whenever you parachute into the map. Then receive passive healing with waterbending by entering water. Once again, you'll need the scroll, destroy a cabbage cart, and finally restore shield. Fields. All of these are super easy, and I'll be showing you how to do them here now. First of all, visiting an elemental shrine. I'll probably be heading straight towards the center one here, as I can land on the water and navigate my way up. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and do it. Just a quick note, if you are going to be playing Fortnite, please do consider using my creator code, TCNO. Super simple. In-game, at any point, you can hit tab to open up your quests menu at the very top, right next to the map, and you can navigate across to any one of these here. You can see that when you head across to the water chakra, followed by visit an elemental shrine, they'll all be marked on the map for you. Lucky for me, we're flying straight over one so we'll just drop straight down to it and we'll land in the water to get a bit of progress flying straight down we'll want to make absolutely sure that we land in the water in order to get a bit of progress done landing on land won't count so we're heading straight down as soon as we touch the water you should see some progress bam there we go one out of two now all we need to do is navigate our way up to the top of the shrine here and simply by touching this land you can see we've now visited an elemental shrine that's it it's super simple there we go we've claimed our first 350 team destroy a cabbage cart in fortnite avatar it's actually super simple and there's a couple of main locations that we can get this done first of all restored reels within usually these locations over here you'll find a cabbage cart that you can destroy i'd recommend dropping in and landing here or further to the south fencing fields around this location over here you can find another one then all the way to the far south mount olympus in the main area here you'll usually find a cabbage cart usually just to the west over here there's a couple of other locations and they're super easy to spot and i'll be showing you how to do that now i'll be heading pretty much over here for the first one just above fencing fields as it should be a lot quieter all right i still have the location marked opening the map that's pretty much exactly where i'll be dropping so let's do it this is my second map i'm currently landing to head across to one of the cabbage cart locations so i'll just make sure to touch down in water a second time and we'll have this done it doesn't need to be a lake it can be rivers or anything like that any body of water should work properly so once again coming down and touching the water just like that we've now finished land on water from the bus super simple sweet so here we are we're approaching the location and as you can see right over here is a cabbage cart pretty much exactly where i said it would be simply find your way to one and give it a smack as soon as it's destroyed you should have that mission complete and there we go we've now destroyed a cabbage cart as you can see we found some chug splash so all we need to do with this is throw it down and now we should be restoring some shields making some progress and even though we ended pretty early we've now got 20 progress on our restore shields so pretty much any kind of restore shields whether it's a chug jug or a chug splash or anything like that whenever you restore shields you'll get some progress on this you'll need to passively do this over multiple games as it is going to take some time let's hop into the next Next one and see if we can do a bit better here there's these containers these also give you shields when destroyed so gain 10 20 and 30 sweet a little bit more progress and we also found minis here which work too and of course the full-size chug jug as well so we'll hit it and make a bit more progress we'll keep it for later at this point you'll need to take some damage so you can continue refilling otherwise just keep playing the game as usual and there we go simply just running around we found our first scroll the water bending scroll you'll need to pick this up and when you do so you'll be able to bend water just like that this allows us to continue our quest and it's unlocked the ability to deal a thousand damage to enemies or opponents using water bending and receive passive healing with water bending by entering water we need to do 25 hp worth the easiest way to do this is to take some damage usually from other players bots or of course a high fall let's go ahead and test this out taking some damage we'll get into water even though this is toxic water we should still heal from it anyways that's it 
We've now healed 25 HP worth, and we've finished our first little quest. Now, finally, to deal 1,000 damage to opponents using waterbending and restore shields, these two are a bit more passive, the 1,000 damage to opponents. You simply just need to run around with this scroll in your hands. In order to use this, it works like pretty much any other weapon in the game. Right-click to zoom in, and left-click to primary fire. You can also reload to get a full magazine or whatever it is much earlier. Now, just to find some enemies. And there we go, we have an opponent right here. So we'll catch up to them and do a little bit of waterbending damage. There we go, our first elimination and with that we've now done a full 150 damage so you'll need to eliminate probably six or seven people in order to finish this completely speaking of we've cracked him and we'll finish them off just like that we've now done probably 300 worth yeah 350 we'll head in the direction of more action and there's even more over here another player another simple kill there's another player there we go taking a bit of damage and using more shields we've made a tiny bit more progress here we can maybe farm this a little bit longer so we'll finish off our water bending now and we'll pam a little bit more progress as you can see, we found a second and even a third cabbage cart. These things are lying around pretty much all over the map. They're relatively simple to find. Also, Flow Briefers also works as well, so we'll take this and carry it with us. Hopefully, we can find another enemy to finish off this water bending before the end of the game. But of course, if you don't happen to, finding scrolls is super easy. You can do it pretty much anywhere. You're more likely to find them lying around pretty much randomly on the map than you are to find them inside of chests, but they drop pretty much anywhere. But Pam, there we go. We've finished our water bending down damage, but unfortunately we didn't finish our healing. So we'll go ahead, find another game, and finish off the last bit of this, which was restoring shields. This of course is incredibly easy, and we'll just do it passively as we play. There we go, we should be able to do this game pretty easily. We'll jump out anywhere, and head towards a relatively major hot zone, just so we can make sure that there's a little bit of action in order for us to restore our shields, etc. And you can even get these scrolls from these little supply drones that fly around in certain locations. A bit more shield used, we can now refill and get a tiny bit more progress, hopefully finishing us off. There we go, we've now finished our Restore Shields quest, and we've now 100%ed the Water Chakra over here. That's it, so thank you for watching, hopefully you found this video useful. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!